I'm going to show you how to style colour and hopefully not look like a Teletubby. Hey, I'm Jen and basically I went from wearing no colour to wearing just colour and today hopefully I'm going to show you how to style colour in some monochrome looks. So today I'm hopefully going to inspire you how you can add more colour to your wardrobe, maybe be bold and go for a whole monochrome look or just take bits and pieces from this to kind of jazz up your wardrobe and hopefully add some more colour. Step one is to look at the colours that you like to wear, not just the colours that you like in general but the ones that you like to put on and hopefully fill out your wardrobe. Now before going on a spending spree and spending all your ISO savings, how about you look in your wardrobe first and hopefully that colour should already be there because you like wearing it. For me this colour is green. I have a lot of green clothes. Now when you're pairing them together it works best when they're all similar tone, although you can mix and match, but lucky for me everything that I own is pretty much just like foresty green, so that's the basis that I'm working off. So you can then experiment by styling them all together. The trick here is to really add accessories so you don't look so much like a Power Ranger. Also try to experiment with different textures and patterns and boom, you got an outfit. So if you start off with colours that you like wearing, that way if you buy more of that colour, you will still wear it in your everyday wardrobe, not just as monochrome, but you'll just enjoy wearing it all together and you're not buying clothes that you probably won't wear again. And now rinse and repeat all those steps with every colour of your dreams. Okay, keeping with the green theme, um, I'm not sure if this is cheating, but the easiest way to monochrome is when you wear like a whole piece thing. So I'm wearing a jumpsuit right here. This is my Big Bud Press jumpsuit that I got in sample sale. It kind of screams nurse or gardener or something, but I still love it. It's the cutest outfit that I just can chuck on and feel super comfortable in, even though I kind of look like a green screen. This combo I've worn to death, basically any time that I convince myself Australia is cold enough for a jacket, this is what I throw on because I still have ventilation on my legs. It's a classic example of mixing up textures. I've got a corduroy jacket and a polka dot dress, so it kind of works because they're both the same colour, but it's kind of mixing it up. I'm probably not the first person to tell you this, but yellow is not for everyone, myself included. It's just a really hard colour to match with your skin tone because your skin has a lot of yellow in it. My tips for minimising looking like a banana include breaking it up with accessories. Here I've added my Doc Martens and this black belt which kind of match it all together. Added some necklaces and boom I no longer look like Spongebob Squarepants. What I'm about to show you is pretty much all the red things I own in my closet. This red dress and red converse which I never wear. I'm um, not sure if I like Converse, they don't really fit me properly, but who cares, it goes with the outfit. Although I have realised I think red is my colour, it really goes with my skin tone and my hair. So why not make it a full on monochrome red look and add the only other red item I have, these red overalls. They're red corduroy overalls and it kind of ties it in, even though there's a lot of red going on. Um, yeah, I'm kind of using the different textures the floral pattern of the dress and the corduroy of the overalls. And can I say this tomato aesthetic is a major vibe. If this look is screaming stop to you then you can add some accessories like this belt just to break it up a little bit. I think this is the most dangerous outfit I've ever worn. It's definitely not period proof or accident prone safe. But luckily these jeans only cost me $2 so I'm willing to wear it for this video. I've matched them with my Doc Martin sandals and also this tie up top. I'm probably cheating again by just wearing a dress but this is a very bold look wearing all white. I've matched it with my Nike Air Force ones is that what they're called i can't remember and also this really frilly dress that i got thrifting in america this dress gives me oktoberfest vibes but it really would not survive a curry worst blue is probably the easiest for monochrome looks basically because denim so this one i've gone for some deep blue denim overalls and this stripy blue shirt but I was gonna go with some blue socks and blue shoes, but I felt like it was too much. So I've gone with my red Doc Martin Jadens, which kind of tie in the red stitching on these overalls. 
They also grunge up this outfit a little bit so I don't look so much like a toddler, although this whole pattern with the denim overalls definitely brings me back to kindergarten. I'm not gonna lie, this one was definitely an experimental outfit. I was just kind of trying on anything blue that I had in my room. So I paired this blue dress with these denim overalls and I think it kind of looks cute. Definitely gives the 90s vibes, but also super comfy for those ISO days where you want to be fashionable. Honestly, I didn't think I owned much blue, but here we are with a third blue look. This one's more of a baby blue look and I've paired it with this crochet top which really gives me some 70s vibes. The jeans also 70s vibes, also the vans. Is this 70s vibes people? This seems like a very different look for me. I don't normally go for the beach skater girl look, but I think it really works. Also, I'm not sure if the blue kind of washes me out, but it's a cute little dreamy number. And side note, this crochet top only cost me $2 from a thrift store, so bargain. Here is a pink corduroy set. I've got it from Gander, guys. Stop asking me. It's it's from Gander. But um, you might have seen it in my last Gander haul. It's definitely a statement. Matching sets are an awesome way to incorporate monochrome outfits into your wardrobe. Basically, because then you have two items that you can use throughout your wardrobe. Or you can wear it together to look super cute, especially for Instagram photos. So this set is fully corduroy. I've noticed that it kind of bunches in a weird way, but that's just what corduroy does. And yeah, underneath I'm wearing this white tie-up top to break up the pink a little bit, but not take away from the look. Is that white again? No, it's cream. I don't really own much cream stuff or anything neutral actually. But um, here's my cream colored big bud press overalls that match the denim overalls that I wore earlier. Um, yeah, I've kept it pretty basic. I'm wearing this kind of distressed t-shirt underneath and some cream dog muns just to, I don't know, be a fully cream queen. And yes, that does say sun your buns and it's kind of ironic because I can't really sun my buns in this outfit. It's very hard to get to your bum. But yeah, this is a very gen look with the combo of dungarees and Doc Martens. Now I know I said this would all be color, but black is such a badass look that I couldn't leave it out of this lookbook. But bear with me because I tried to make it real interesting. I mixed up a lot of textures with this one. I've got some denim pants, my Doc Martens, a mesh kind of shirt, a lace bra. Honestly, I would normally wear a sports bra if I left the house in this, but that was in the wash. I also added a tiny pop of color with my teal socks. I wore this the other day and I felt like a badass. Normally I try to wear a lot of color and be bright, but yeah, maybe sometimes you have to go back to black. Um, this hat I've had since I was four. I thought it was pretty cute. I just wanted to experiment. And if having your bra out is too much for you, you can add a t-shirt and it adds a really cool layered look. I feel like you can't go wrong with jeans, a t-shirt and docks for a grungy, stain proof and effortless look. Also to make this more casual and somewhat summer appropriate, you could add a sandal. Um, still grungy, but summer? So that is how I do color, even though I'm kind of not wearing color right now, but yes, that's how you monochrome. Let me know in the comments what is your favorite color to wear. Obviously I said mine was green, but I love all the colors that I just showed you today. Um, yeah. Also, I hope you're isolation as well and you're all staying safe and very healthy. Um, anyways, my name is Jen. If you haven't already, please subscribe. My Instagram is at in the wonder years. And until next time, keep wondering. Oh, I feel so gothic. Mm -hmm.